So hello everyone, Bruno speaking from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and this time I have with me Laura Gilchrist. Laura is from the USA and she's one of the presenters at the Reform Symposium. So Laura, can you tell us a little bit more about your presentation? I guess you're going to deliver like two presentations, right? Yeah, yes, I am. And my first one is on workshop model, and that is about getting kids to look at any text and not be afraid and believe that they can talk back to it and get something out of it. And, and uh, So that's, I'm going to present um, blog posts, pictures, and videos. And it's, what it comes down to is we give kids text and worksheets. And we say, here's a textbook, here's a worksheet, now read it, pull stuff out of it, you're done. It's cold and personal and sterile. Workshop model, you take markers, pens, you, you listen to the text and you talk back to it and throw your words on the side. And so you make it your own, it's personal. Kids love it. And even hard hard text, we take longer to get through, but they get through it and they're so proud. So anyway, I'll share a bunch on that. And Laura, my second, how, how yeah. old are these, these kids that you're talking about? Sure, sixth grade, 11 and 12. Okay, great. Great, yeah. so that's amazing yeah. for kids because kids yeah. these age, they really like to read, right? Yeah, yeah, well, they check out of it if it's just writing and they just have to pull stuff out of it. My college daughter showed her how to annotate how to write, talk back to the text. She's like, why did I not know how to do this? Why would, why couldn't I mark in text before and do all this? So it's really powerful. Great, so that's my great. first one. My second one on, is on dry erase surfaces in the classroom. And I will talk about different options for dry erase surfaces like shower boards and paint. And I have them on my tables for my kids. And it's gross motor. It's You can visual thinking, metaphors. You can draw. The kids love it. It's another space for learning. And I will share blog posts, videos of my kids and the things that I find most powerful about it. So this, this second one is about mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the space of learning, right? Yeah, I, you I, got I didn't it. Quite get it. Yeah, it's like dry erase, like they take dry erase markers and we have big tables and they have uh -huh. that all over the table. It, mine is uh -huh. paint, but you can also go get shower boards and it's pretty cheap and you go put them up on the walls or on the tables and then the kids can use dry erase markers and erase and colors and, and it's gross motor and the kids absolutely love it. Great. And why do you think uh, that this is important for you as an educator and for the students as well? Yes. Do I think it is? Why? Why do you think so? Um, uh, the dry erase. Um, it's another, it's a creative use of space and it's another way for kids to express themselves and personalize learning. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Very interesting, yeah. Laura. I'm looking Thank forward you. to attending your session. You'll be talking on what day? I am talking Friday evening, um, Kansas City Central Time, and then Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. Okay, great, great, Clara. So I'm looking to attend your session, and I'll see you online. So stay tuned for more information about the Reform Symposium. Thank you, Laura. Thank bye you, bye. Bruno. Bye-bye.